good evening. We've arrived in the city of Carcassonne. Um, we've parked up in an air and we're going to take a walk into town to have a little look. Tomorrow, we're excited to go and see the medieval castle. <laughs> So we are at a bit of a class here. I've been to a couple of these before. They're kind of gated and uh, they're all automated. Here, have a look. So there's the, uh, the map of the air. And when you come in, you're faced with this here. Okay, we're a little longer than eight meters, but we've got them, no problem. And then you have these machines here. Um, lucky you can change them to English. But yeah, basically, uh, you pay 15 euros, you've got 24 hours. This one doesn't have electric or Wi-Fi. So for a basic air, not the cheapest, but uh, that's fine. That'll do us for 24 hours now. Be there tonight. We're going to walk into town, get something to eat. And uh, tomorrow we're going to go up and look at the castle, which I know Lindsay's excited about. It's a UNESCO um, heritage one. We do like to find these UNESCO sites. Yeah, they can be cool. Right, let's go and get some grub, shall we? So there's a campsite right next door with the same logo, so clearly the air belongs to this campsite. But the campsite isn't appropriate for us tonight. We literally pulled up this evening. Um, the campsite was like four times, four times the price of the air. And all we're going to do is park there and go get something to eat. And then tomorrow we're going up to the castle, so we don't need to be paying that and staying in the campsite. Although we have been wild camping while camping on the mountain the night before last and at an air without facilities last night. So we've had two days without showers. So I think tonight, when we get back, I did fill up at the last air. When we get back, I think we're all gonna jump in the shower. Tomorrow. Three weeks. Tomorrow, yeah. We're two weeks in and three weeks. Three weeks ago. George had his little accident. You remember him with his um, boot on? And look at him now. He's managed to get his trainers on. Oh. He's got a little bit of a limp, but he's got his trainers on and we're walking into town. All for food, huh? Yeah. <laughs> George, you're hiding inside a tree. Yeah. Oh, come on. It's nice and cozy in Sunday and uh, it's a bit quiet in town. A lot of shops are shut already and restaurants are shut already. But we found this kebab place. Um, we're just waiting for our kebabs and kofta. Hey George. It's... What are you drinking? Fanta. Drink watch. Fanta orange. It sounds much more exciting if you say it's a Moroccan restaurant rather than a kebab place. It's a kebab place. But this is just like German Donner and it's got bread and the kebab mm. and of course really nice chips. They're good? Um so good. I wanna eat another. I pink kofta. Pretty sure it's lamb kofta, I've not tried it yet. How's your kebab, George? Good. Yeah? It's a big kebab. Are you going to eat all that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah? Vegan bird. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 
Glad I wasn't born in France. <laughs> Why? Because I don't speak a word of French. <laughs> Pretty picturesque, it is very beautiful. Let me pan round so you can see this. I love watching the boys walk together on holiday, they don't spend as much time when they're at home. We came this way in the camper van and ours is 3.2 metres. Look at this, it's really nerve wracking going under this bridge. <laughs> They're too scared to get under there as well. We got under there with an inch to spare. Okay. Is this one of the ones where you can see out but you can't see it? No, I think it's it's one of the ones that cleans itself automatically, it disinfects after each use. It flushed on the way in, that makes me worry that it's going to disinfect me. It's end. fine, my love. Can I film it? <laughs> Something we've learned about France is every French person has a secret stash of loo roll in their bag. Because they don't put toilet roll in the toilets. Well, so nice walk back along the river. It was a lovely meal. It was awesome. It was 33 euros 50, and we all ate and drunk and couldn't finish it all. So, French doner kebab. That's what it was. Right, back to the van now for a shower. Want a shower? Yeah, I need one. Okay, back on the air. There's a few interesting vans here to have a look at. Look at this old uh, red fire engine converted camper van here. How cool is that? Finland, on the looks of it. Nice. Good morning. We're going to go and get some history and have some learning. I have no idea what that's going to be. <laughs> Just servicing a motorhome before we set off. We're uh, dropping the grey water here. Okay, so that's the grey water, which um, for those of you that don't know, that's just your water from the showers from last night, from the washing up, from cleaning your teeth. Um, that's the grey water. Black water, that's your toilet water. Put the adapter on again. Always carry your, your adapters for your hoses with you guys. Plug that in. On with my filler cap, and again, and in she goes. And this one, you get a little code, uh, 
that you can put in and get, I think, 10 minutes free of water with this to top us up. Should be enough. Oh, it's coming out this side. There we go. There we are. So they're up in no time. And that's where I need to empty the loo, but I won't show you that. We know the system's full because it starts coming out the overflow under these. Hmm? Okay, to exit this place, it's all auto automated. There are no people, so I have to put the same code that we use for the water into the machine. Quick stop off at a little for some shopping before we get on the road. There's clearly a shortage of uh, fruit and veg around here. Shelves have been cleared out. Huh? You can tell Harry's come along to help shop today. Look at the money she's put in there. Huh? Snack, snack, oh. snack. Right, let's get this thing loaded up. Right, that's it. We are stocked up for the next couple of days. We've got a shed load of sugary snacks because um, we took Harry in. He is not coming shopping with us again. We did get some fruit and veg as well and some barbecue things too. Now, we are heading to the seaside. Yay! We're going to the Mediterranean. We had the choice, Bay of Biscay, Mediterranean Sea. I know the Mediterranean is going to be a lot warmer. So we're heading there, about an hour to get down to the Mediterranean. We're gonna find a campsite. We haven't had a campsite for a few days now. Kids are asking for a campsite. They're asking for a pool, of course. Um, I've got a good bit of video editing to do as well. So it'd be good just to kick back and uh, chill out and do some video editing. Um, we'll see you guys on the next one. Take it easy.